winter came early to Sweden this year, and it is a beautiful winter, so crispy and cold. It feels like walking around in a frozen fairy tale. I found a beautiful little lake in the forest. It was so quiet, not even birds were singing. It was like time itself was frozen. I will never get used to how beautiful Sweden is. It will be Christmas soon. In this video I will give you the recipe of traditional Swedish Christmas food. A bun that we call lussekat and a drink I simply call Christmas app. Lussekat is a saffron bun that Swedes eat during December and only December. If you eat lussekat in any other month they will kill you. I love this time of the year. The decorations, the snow, the candles. All the children are excited about Christmas and people are happy. It is cozy. And the best thing about it is Lussekat. So here we go. My son Vincent will show you how to make a proper saffron bun. Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family, have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets, chilling out and watch TV, wrapping up the gifts with my fingertips, making up some fancy rhymes, so fancy. just got something fun for my special one, but my love don't cost a dime, waiting for Santa to come, he'll be knocking on I'm not one of them, the three wisest men, but I got an open heart. If you feel alone, just stop by my home. I don't care about who you are. If you make the trip, have a little sip, talking about the good old times. How they did it then, back in Bethlehem, when the legend came to life. I'm waiting for Santa to come. He'll be knocking on my door Treat the old and the young I hear sleigh bells in the snow Holding on to a bunch of reindeer He'll be making his rounds Working harder for every year When the Christmas spirit's all over the town With my fingertips Making up some fancy rhymes oh, So fancy Just got something fun for my special one But my love don't cost a dime Waiting for Santa to come He'll be knocking on my door Treat the old and the young I hear sleigh bells in the snow Holding on to a bunch of
so I have two big projects for next year. Uh, the first one is that we will build a bathroom in the house. Right now we ha just have a small bathroom, it's just a toilet and uh, a shower. It's really not big and we've been living like this <laughs> ever since we moved here. And I have been dreaming about this huge bathroom, luxurious, you know, so we saved money and now it's finally time to do this renovation. So here upstairs we have an um, old kitchen. Uh, it is a room that no one really used uh, since they built the house. I mean, um, it was from like the 50s or something. An old kitchen, we took everything out, we tear down the walls and the floor and we threw out everything. So now it's absolutely empty and now we will start to build the, the bathroom and I already picked all the things that I will have in there so it will be like this brown wood uh, mixed with the uh, copper metallics. I think it will be really nice with this very down-to-earth color scale and uh, materials that are very natural. So I think it will be really really pretty and I will show you the entire process of course. We will start this project as soon as possible, um, but it would take about six months before we're done. So in the summer in 2022. The family really, really needs a bathroom. It's, you know, we really need one because our kids are big now. The girl is 14, the boy is 12, 13. How old is he? 12. He turned 12 just the other day. <laughs> So I am very, very excited about the bathroom. Mm, we really need one and it would be so much fun to do it. The second big project for next year is that I will publish my book. Woo! The problem is I am not really sure on how to publish it. I'm, I've been thinking about traditional publishing, have a publicist, but... Um, mm, you know, first of all, it's really, really hard to get someone to publish your work if you are just, you know, a fresh writer. <laughs> it's hard. And even if they do accept your book and want to publish it, then this is how it works. They do all the prints and distribute, distribute, distri distribute, you know what I mean. They do all that. And then they take 80% of their revenue. And you might think that, well, that's fair enough because they took uh, economical risk by publishing it. But the thing is, I am a very, you know, <laughs> ambitious person. And I want to do the marketing myself. I want to do the cover of the book myself. I want to do, you know, everything myself. Um, so I will put in a lot of work and energy and time in this and yet they will get the most of the money. Isn't it better that I take the economical risk and then I get 100% of the revenue? Hmm? You see, when I create something and I put my name on it, I want the person that's holding the book to know that every single part of this, what they are holding, is made by me and no one else. Like, I want to do the cover design of the book. Every single word in this book is written by me. Uh, all the marketing around the book is made by me. Everything, the packaging, the, all of it. Also, a thing I want to do if you choose to buy the audiobook is that when you buy the audiobook, you will actually hear my voice. I wrote it, so I will read it. And this is one thing I'm, I'm confused about. You know, when you listen to audiobooks, you only hear a voice talking, reading the text, and nothing else. That is so weird to me, because I'm thinking, it's so much more nice if you hear, like, sound elements, you know, a raven in the distance and the wind. Not much, but just a little to, to build an atmosphere. For me, it's so weird that people don't do that. Every time I listen to an audiobook, it's just a voice. I don't understand that. Maybe I'm the weird one, I don't know. So that is what I want to do with the audiobook. 
So I have very specific ideas on how I want things to be. Uh, so I am thinking more and more about self-publishing. And if I fail, I'm the only one that fails. And if I succeed, I'm the only one that succeed. So yeah. Yeah, those were the two things, big things. Then we have like all the small things. I have like 10 songs in my computer that are not quite done. They're almost done. So I hope that I will be finished with them all next year and have them published on Spotify. Uh, right now, I think I have four songs on Spotify, uh, but I have many more to come. For next year, I hope that I will have the chance to rent the same little house in the forest as I did this year. I got there in February to write on my book. It was lovely to have three days all by myself. I love people, but I also have a huge need of being all alone. That is my way of recovering from all the noise in everyday life. I have a hard time handling noise and distractions from people and technology. If I have long periods of constant and unwanted impressions from the world around me, I feel cramped and get very low and uninspired. I must get away sometimes so I can think thoughts from start to finish without distractions. I need my mind and my body for myself and myself only. I wrote a lot when I was there, and if I go to this place next year, I will stay for a week and write my second book and create music. It was so lovely there, so quiet. The only sound was the spark from the fire. I did everything in my own pace. Drink coffee, write my stories, read books, just do small things from start to finish without distractions and just sit and look at the beautiful sun and the snow for an hour or two or three. My one and only wish for next year is that Corona disappears so I can see my friends again. I miss my friends and our awesome parties so much. This is Arvid playing the key harp, a traditional old Swedish instrument. I love the sound of it. I so wish I could play it. He is of course the star of the party every time because he can play whatever instrument you give him. Guitar, violin, and he sings beautifully. It is crazy how talented he is. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a lovely New Year filled with love and hope and dreams come true. And let's hope that we all very soon can see our family and friends as much as we want again. Thank you for watching. Bye.